Hey guys, uh, in today's, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple um, canvas game using Visual Studio. So basically, you know, you um, will be using a canvas to create a very simple uh, game, game kind of thing. So basically this game will have a deck of card and it will draw a random card in each time you draw a card it will you know it will tell you what kind of card it is and also I would be adding a sound so for example you know every time you click a button or something a new a new card is drawn onto the canvas and it also uh, tell you what kind of card it is both in text and also in sound okay let's go ahead and create a simple uh, project here using Visual Studio 2012 so this I'm going to go ahead and create an empty web application. In this web application, I'm going to say simple card game. Okay, that oh, that that already exists. So I'm going to say cat simple card game two. Okay, see, as you can see, this guy is empty. So let, let me go ahead and add a HTML page here. Let me go ahead and add one HTML page. I'm going to go ahead and add a new item. The item I'm going to add is HTML page. I don't need any, anything else. So I'm going to say simple card game. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this one doesn't have anything. I really like to use jQuery. So let me go ahead and grab the jquery you know so we could that we can use it so we don't it will be easier for us to write a lot of javascript okay i'm going this is the latest version of jquery which is 2.0 so basically if you if you guys are not familiar with this with this one is like you know um NuGet package it allows us to grab the latest version of code from the internet. It's a really cool tool. Anyway, so it, here it just loaded some of the, you know, jQuery library right here for us to use. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drag a sim this this jQuery library here because I want to use it. Okay, great. And then this is where I'll be writing my JavaScript. Okay. So let's go ahead and write the markup. So in the markup, I will have um, a button to click, and we'll have a canvas area. So basically, something like let's, let's say give an ID as a div tag, um, canvas container, or something like that. Okay. In inside the inside this container I, I, I will have a canvas give ID card canvas um, let's set the width and height of the canvas to 600 pixel as width and the height of this one would be 600 pixel also and you know like some browser do not support you know canvas if they do not support I will say your browser does not support canvas something like that okay okay remember our goal is to write a simple card game that is drawn into a canvas all right so um, let's let's write a function to do that so basically I'm gonna say if a function doesn't take any parameter we have a bunch of code here and this it's closed so this is called self-executing anonymous function so basically here is a function definition doesn't have a name that's why it's anonymous and doesn't take any parameter and and here I will be writing our huge amount a bunch of code right here in the middle and then this function gets invoked right away and this closing basically this parenthesis last parenthesis right here closes the beginning one okay remember <coughs> Now, what we have to do is now we have to define the first when you're writing a card game, we need to know the in a card there are four different kinds of suit, right? So how are we gonna write that? Let's define a JavaScript literal object. Like let's say a var suit type and define this is JavaScript literal and let's say define something called diamond. Okay, 
and let's go ahead and define well let's let me I already have a code written so let me go ahead and grab that code instead of you watching me typing okay here is my code okay so this is what I'm gonna do okay this is my diamond this is my suit okay this is a so basically I have a diamond I have a heart and I have a spade and I have a clubs okay now I have suit defined for my card now next thing I have to do is now I have to define a card how do you define think about how a card looks like a card a, you know the, the card game playing card basically has a you know face value it has um, of course the the suit type right and and it, and it has corresponding value it has suit type it, it has of course in in this example we would also like to show the the picture so we'll need some kind of path where the picture will be located we will also like to show the sound so we need to know those all kind of variables right so based upon that so what i have done here is basically um i have all defined a card here is how my card looks like. Here is the card, the definition of a card right here. So I have a JavaScript function, and this function, you know, has a name card, and it takes the parameters like name, and a suit type, what kind of suit it is, and a value of the card, and the picture location, and the sound. So basically, I set this value right here. It's a name of the card, suit type, and the card value, and a picture, and sound, okay? This is how my card looks like. Okay, now I have a card. Now, I would like to have something like, you know, I would like to say on the screen what kind of value it is or something. To do that, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a little method here, which I have already done, but I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how it really works. Um, okay. So basically, I'm extending this class card, this object card, by using prototype, and I'm defining to a string method to it, right? So basically, what I'm doing here is based on the suit type right here. I'm saying, if this refers to the card right here, the suit type of this card, uh, just basically do a switch statement. If it is a club, just you know, print club. It is value assign value to this local variable called value and assign hard to this variable value right and once it come out tell me what's the name so basically name might be a diamond of you know whatever like a hard or a spade diamond whatever okay those are very too simple now we have these two functions defined which is good now we have a card a single card but now we have to define a deck of card right so basically we need to define now 52 cards excluding the joker so doing that shouldn't be that difficult so basically we can do something like uh, we can, now we can define a deck right deck of card something like that and basically think about this one it's just going to be a array of card right that's what the deck consists of so this is my deck of card. So now basically all we ha all I have to do is some I have to do something like this. So basically I have a deck of card. So deck of card, I'm gonna say push. Into the push, all I'm doing is pushing a new card here. Boom. See? I give a name, I I tell what suit type it is, and I tell the location the string where that picture can be found and the way the sound file can be found. This is how I define a card. Basically, of course, I need one more. So this way, now I can push all the 52 cards into my deck. Okay. Typing that one 52 times and you watching them would be the bore, you know, the most boring thing you've ever seen. So I don't want you to suffer from that. So I have already done that. So let me go ahead and grab that code. Okay. Here is my deck of cards. okay so what I have done so far I declare a variable a day